What is up guys, it's your boy Steve again and I'm back again for yet another video review. And today we have the Armatan 3 inch Tadpole. So I was really glad that Armatan came out the 3 inch version. They did have a 2.5 inch version a few months ago and I wasn't, you know, too, you know, too excited about it. Uh, I've already have 2.5 inch and I kind of stopped flying 2.5 inch. I don't really fly it a whole lot. I mainly fly, you know, 3 inch micros around the house. And like I said, I was really glad they came out with the three inch because I've been looking for that ultimate uh, three inch freestyle quad. So let's go ahead and talk about what motors that I'm going to be using with the build. So these are the new Flywoo Robo motors and these are the 1204 uh, 20, I'm sorry, 5150 KV. So this is a really nice motor. It doesn't have a whole lot of notch to it. And I was on the Armatan website just kind of like browsing around. And I saw that they had an Armatan 1204, uh, but I looked closely and it looks like an RCM power motor. And it's just kind of like rebranded Armatan. So it has this nice satin look. It looks pretty neat, but yeah, I saw these motors and I had to give them a try to see how they, uh, how they perform. And I thought they would look really nice with the frame. So this wire is pretty long. So they give you plenty of wire to work with, uh, with this motor. So onto the camera. So we're gonna be using the Fox Ear. And this is the Starlight version of the uh, Toothless 2 Nano 1200 TBL line. So uh, wanna do some night flying with this quad. See that we got this uh, really bright fluorescent color here. So this is a, a little bit of a narrow lens. I have tried the regular one. It has a little bit of a wider lens. So, uh, Wanted to do some night flying in this and see how that goes. If I don't like it, I'll just probably go back to the regular one. And to match along with it, we got the Foxer Lollipop Micro right here. So this is be my first time using this too as well. So we'll try that out. So that's gonna match nicely with the camera right there. For the flight controller, we got the Beta FPV. This is the V3, F4, all in one 20 amp. Uh, brushless fight controller and I'm gonna open that up and we got our battery leads already soldered onto there already with our capacitor so that's nice I don't have to really worry about uh, doing any rework with that our VTX is the TBS Unify Pro 32 uh, that's our VTX that we'll be using good VTX and my uh, RX will be using the full speed DSMX right here and I printed out these TPU mounts for the arms got these off of Thingiverse and Brain 3D is, has theirs made out and I'm waiting for them to make their mount for the Insta360 Go so I can take some footage uh, with the quad for the video review and let's push this aside and just go into the frame itself so we got an instruction manual right here so this is the uh, uh, pretty much layout and diagram so that's really nice uh, it's typical of Armatan I've built the Marmot and the Chameleon and pretty much that's what you get with those two as well so we have our battery mounts right here yeah, take those off and let's take a look at the frame so the frame looks like to be a 2.5 millimeter frame and it has a good amount of little flex to it. So um, I'm not too worried about it because Armatan gives your lifetime warranty on brakes. And these are a little bit thicker arms right here. So they probably uh, did a 2.5 just to go with a little bit uh, more lighter weight of a build. So that looks really nice. Looks kind of like the same pattern as the uh, Marmot there, so really liking that. Got this opened up already. And got our two stickers right here. And let's go into what's in this package right here. So we got our dog bone. These are like top of a, a foam that padding that goes underneath the frame uh, when you land. And we got, should have a rubber, yeah, looks like a rubber mount is in here that goes in between the two standoffs in the back of the quad so yeah i got a little gap right there so that the uh, antenna can land 
or, or you know, sit right there. So that's nice, got some screws in there too. And those are two of the rear end standoffs right there. And we got cam mount holders right here. And these are made of aluminum, so that's really nice. You should get a lot of good protection with that. And looks so like we got our top plate right here. So we got our foam top, top plate and it goes on top. So that's cool. Yeah, this looks like a, you know, scaled down, you know, marmot pretty much slash chameleon. So I really, really like that. I'm really excited to get this build, you know, up in the air. And, you know, thanks for y'all guys for coming by the channel. I really, really appreciate it a lot. Y'all guys like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all got any questions, just leave them down in the comments down below. FPV is life. And I'll see y'all guys on the next one. Out of here. Give me a sign if you